Well, hello again, friends. Little by little, doors begin to open. In these days, it's the doors to long-term care facilities where so many of our loved ones have been in isolation for so long. In several provinces, there have been small moves to allow family visits on patios or in designated areas of the facility to take place so that loved ones could be together and see one another. I know how much it's uh, meant to my mother for some of these to begin to happen and uh, for so many others. We know that Jesus cares for us and cares about our loved ones in long-term care facilities and elsewhere. We haven't been able to get to them and care for them, but he cares. Even when he was dying on the cross for us, Jesus was doing all he could to see that his mother was cared for. You remember that Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing nearby. He said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her to his own home. Jesus did everything he needed to so he would know his mother was cared for. And we know that God is on our side as we do all we can to care for our loved ones while maintaining necessary structures to keep them safe and healthy. Well, today we want to pray for seniors, for elders, for their families, for the conditions in which we all find ourselves today as governments do begin to open the doors for reunions among loved ones. Let's give thanks and let's pray for continued strength and help for them. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we do thank you for the elders and seniors in our lives for the love they've shared with us for so long, for the lessons that they teach us every day. We thank you for their willingness to put up with all the distancing and disconnection they've had to bear with during these months of the pandemic. So many have been willing to put up with more than their fair share of restrictions and isolation in order to help others stay safe and healthy. They've paid a huge price. And the ones I've been in touch with have had such a good attitude through it all. Lord, we certainly can learn from their generosity of spirit. And, and so we pray today that you would strengthen them, encourage them, and, and help them in this next little bit in the journey. We're so grateful that even as bodies and minds become weaker and more frail, you've promised to be the source of strength and comfort that every senior, every elder needs for each day of their life's journey. We bless them today, God, to be conscious of your love, of your presence, of your care, of your strength today. Care for them and their aches and their pains. Care for those, Lord, we pray, who are confused and struggle with their memory. Lord, would you comfort them and surround them so they can know peace, even during this very fragile time. And even though we wish we could be there with them more, there could be more openness, more availability of space and time in these uh, care facilities to be with them. Lord, we pray today to be patient and respectful as leaders seek to protect the elderly who've been so attacked by this virus. Help us not to complain, not to look for reasons to criticize, but help us to support the efforts of the many who want to do what's right for everyone. We bless our elders and our seniors to have soft hearts towards you and to rest in your good care. We pray that as people in the Bible, I'm thinking of Anna and Simeon today, who there, there, there they were in the temple waiting for decades for the birth of the Messiah, and then baby Jesus was brought to them by his parents, Mary and Joseph. And Lord, they gave thanks for to you when they saw him, and Lord, we pray today that even in the joy that they had, that these seniors today would know the joy of seeing you, of seeing your salvation, of seeing the light that you're prepared to be for them every day and to everyone across the face of the earth. For those seniors who don't yet have a personal relationship with you, we pray that your spirit would touch their hearts today and that they would reflect on eternity and on the joy that you have awaiting them if they'll just put their trust in you. That's joy for today, not just for when they go out into eternity. 
And so once again, God, we want to commit our seniors into your care. Heavenly Father, no matter how many birthdays they have, they will always be your beloved children. We bless them in your name, and we bless you, God, and we give thanks for the gift of seniors and elders among us. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I don't know how many birthdays you've had. I don't know who the, uh, the elders and seniors are that you connect to, but I pray today that you'll have a wonderful day. I pray that you'll make contact with someone who's been perhaps in care, and uh, let's celebrate these wonderful relationships that God has given us. Let's take care of each other. Have a wonderful day.